In the next question from the chapter trigonometric identities, we have to prove this trigonometric identity that is sin a plus cosec whole square plus cos a plus sec a whole square is equal to 7 plus tan square a plus cot square a. Now, here we will not be converting sin, not converting cosec into sine or we are not going to convert sec into cos. This is because Instead, we are going to apply a plus b whole square identity in this part. Now, the reason is that if I expand this using a plus b whole square, we'll get cosec square, which can be written as 1 plus cot square. And similarly, when we get sec square a, I can write that as 1 plus tan square a by applying this and this identity. So let's uh, begin with writing the LHS. And in fact, I am expanding the LHS. Now this is the first part which is a plus b whole square. So what is uh, a square? a square is sine square a plus b square is cosec square a. This is cosec square a plus 2ab that is 2 times sine a dot cosec a. Now later I'm expanding this one. This is this is cos square a plus b square that is sec square a plus two times cos a into sec a. Now after that I'm going to do some rearrangement here and the rearrangement you can see here, what I'm doing, I'm writing first sine square a and then plus cos square a. Now we know that sine square a plus cos square a is 1. Right. This is what I'm going to do first. I'm copying this sine square a plus cos square a. Right. And next, what I'm doing here is converting this cosec square a Right. This is what cosec square a and we know that cosec square a is what 1 plus cot square a. Then we have this sec 2 into sec into cosec. You know that uh, they can be cancelled because the product of these two as you know one is reciprocal of the other. Look into this identity when we talk about this identity. This is what? sec multiply sec is equal to sec is equal to 1 by cos so cos into sec is 1 that is 1 so whether you cancel it or you may simply write plus 2 giving the reason why you're writing plus 2 now next i'm going to replace this sec square a the sec square a can be written as what 1 plus sec square a can be written as 1 plus tan square a and similarly you can figure out from here that is cosec into sec, right? Cosec into sec, cos into sec is 1. One more time, you can see from here that is uh, cos into sec, right? Cos into sec. Here it was cosec into sine was 1 because cos multiplied by sec is 1. They are reciprocal of each other. So we can see that the product of these two will give you 1 and we'll write plus 2 here. Now, if I add these numbers, that is 1, this is 1 here, and then 2, right? 1 plus 2 plus 2 is what? Yeah, there is more numbers here. I can see this is 1 as well here. And so 1, and we are going to get 1 from this. That is sine square plus cos square. So let me write on this first. This is sine square plus cos square here, which is equal to 1. Sine square plus cos square is 1. Plus, I'm writing this 1. Plus, I'm writing this 2. Plus, I'm writing this 1. And finally, this 2. Plus, what is this? Tan cot square a and tan square a. So, maybe I write tan square a plus cot square a. So together, this will give you how much? 7, right? This is 1 plus 1, 2 plus 2, 4, 5, 6, 7. 
So 7 plus tan square a plus cot square a, this is equal to RHS. We say hence proved.